Do you use OBS and are you curious what virtual cam is and how it can be useful to you? Or if you don't use OBS, are you wondering how you can take things like Zoom meetings and Skype and things like that and give it an extra spiciness that you've never thought of before? Well, you can using OBS and Streamlabs OBS using virtual cam. And we'll talk about that in just a second. What's going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about virtual cam for Streamlabs OBS and OBS. We'll be taking a look at both of them on the computers right over there. We're gonna take a look at it and uh, see what all benefits we get from using this and what all we can do with it. So a, a great example, I'll give you a few, uh, I'll, I'll let you in on a few tips before we start. These are your tech tips. This is Chad's tech tips. Doesn't sound like I'm copying anybody with that name. Sure doesn't. But um, so some of the use cases that I think this would be great is if you have a Discord server and you want to stream you playing games, but you still want to have the appeal as if you were streaming on Twitch, the positive for streaming on Twitch is you can use Streamlabs or OBS and you could add all these fancy scenes. On Discord, you're either limited to streaming your camera and your gameplay but you can't mash them together. But that's the purpose of Streamlabs and OBS is to be able to do that. So we can utilize that and then take this scene that we build and all these other scenes and we can transition them in just like a live stream and we can send it to a virtual webcam. So it's acting like your stream is a webcam, anything on that canvas essentially, and it does magic for you. It puts it over to Discord, or it'll put it over into stuff like Zoom uh, for meetings and even like Google Hangouts and tons of other meeting applications and things like that. And it is super awesome. So let's go ahead, jump over to the computers and take a look at it and see how to get this set up for Streamlabs OBS and OBS. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how to use OBS and virtual cam to stream to something like Discord. This works just the same with stuff like Zoom, Skype, and other video programs out there. You're essentially just creating a virtual camera off of the canvas that you see right here. If any of you are confused at how I'm recording this, I get this comment all the time. I am recording OBS with Streamlabs OBS and whenever I'm gonna record the Streamlabs OBS section in just a minute, I'm gonna be using OBS. So it looks a little confusing or you might be confused at why it's not showing that we're recording down here in the bottom right hand corner. And that's why, because I'm using a different version to record myself for this tutorial. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and talk about how to do this. So you can see we have a scene set up right here. I've got a display capture and a video capture and it's really simple. All I'm gonna do is click start virtual cam. Now, whenever you click this for the first time, I can't remember if it's OBS or if it's Streamlabs, one of them asks you to install virtual cam. All you'll do is click install and then it installs in less than like 20 seconds. I think it's actually enabling it, not installing it, um, or it just installs the virtual camera, which takes like two seconds or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start virtual cam and it shows up now that stop virtual cam is an option and you do not have to start recording or start streaming for this to work, which is what's really cool about it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this over in front of this. This might be confusing, I apologize, but we can see OBS is now up. And if I go to video, we have different options. Well. Actually, let me go ahead and go down here and click on this. So we can see now we have a bunch of different camera options. Um, we could use my webcam, but my webcam is currently being used inside of OBS. So if I click this, it's just gonna keep trying to load it and it's never gonna find the camera. But if we click this drop down option and click OBS's virtual camera and then turn on camera, we can see that it is showing YouTube that I've got pulled up over here on my other monitor. And this is something I wanted to show you guys. And there's a specific reason. My camera is now flipped to the other side and everything on my screen is currently flipped. To people watching your virtual camera, it's not gonna be that way. OBS just automatically flips it and certain programs just automatically flip it as well in your preview. Now, this is because normally whenever you are streaming just your camera, it's a little confusing figuring out which side to point towards and that's why they do it. But for the way that you have your stream configured, the text and stuff's not gonna be backwards, your camera's not gonna be swapped for the other people watching you stream. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this exact same thing inside of Streamlabs. 
All right, so now we're inside of Streamlabs OBS and I'm gonna show you guys how to enable virtual cam and how to use it. It is very similar to how OBS virtual cam works. It's just a little bit different to get it started. So essentially you're gonna set up your scenes just like normal and we can see here that I've got my display capture, my video capture here. And this is what we wanna to stream to our Discord server or to Skype or to Zoom or something like that. Essentially we're going to take this scene and make it think that it's a webcam and we could adjust stuff in here we could add alerts overlays images and all that cool stuff so what you'll want to do is go down to the settings gear instead of Streamlabs OBS and then go to virtual webcam and then all you're going to click is start virtual webcam it says it's now running we'll click done and now I'm going to drag over Discord so you guys can see here and we're going to jump into a voice channel and we're going to see that we have the option to turn on our video. So I'm going to click this and it's saying it's not working. Well, this is because the wrong virtual cam is selected. I have OBS's virtual cam selected, but I do want to show this for a reason because if you still have your webcam selected, it's going to look something like this or it's going to try to show that it's loading. And the reason it's doing that is because nothing is being outputted through the camera to Discord or Zoom or wherever you are trying to make this work in. And the reason why is because it's already being used inside of Streamlabs or OBS, whichever one you're using. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Streamlabs OBS virtual webcam. And we can now see that it is now pulling in my webcam and my scene the way that I wanted it to. So my webcam is now in the top left instead of the top right and everything on the screen is flipped. The reason that it is this way is mainly because the way Discord works and some other programs, Zoom might do the same thing and Skype might do the same thing as well, is it typically flips the camera orientation for you whenever you look at it. That way you can identify objects in the background and you know, this is my right hand, this is my left hand, and it's that way for you whenever you look at the screen. Uh, for everybody watching, it's going to be flipped back around. So if somebody else was in here watching, they would see this imaged reverse. So however you set up your uh, scene and everything like that doesn't need to be reversed. You don't need to try to make sure that your images are all flipped or anything like that. It's going to show exactly the way that we have it set up inside of our streaming program. So exactly the way it looks here is how it's gonna look to other people on Discord. But for you and inside of Zoom and stuff like that, it may look like it's flipped the other way. But that is how you get it up and running inside of OBS and Streamlabs OBS. So yeah, guys, it's that easy to do and get up and running with this. And like I said, you just essentially select the virtual cam that you're using. If it's Streamlabs, it's probably like Streamlabs OBS. I already forgot uh, virtual cam or OBS virtual cam. You select it as your source and then it just pretends that it's already a webcam and you could add your webcam inside of gameplay or your webcam inside of your desktop. And you could put overlays and widgets and do everything that you normally do if you were streaming or if you don't use OBS, anything that you would normally do um, with your other programs. And you can stream those, have yourself involved in that. And it just creates this awesome interaction. And it's gonna be great if you wanna do social things inside of Discord, do Zoom meetings, like I said, or even maybe even teach. It's a good option for that. But yeah, that's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead and destroy the like button. If you click it, make sure you click it an odd number of times. If you click it an even number of times, your light goes away and it breaks my heart. And uh, yeah, please don't do that. But yeah, also comment down below what was your favorite part of this video and turn on those notifications if you guys haven't already. Also, if you guys wanna join our growing community Discord, we have over 4,000 people, I think. I could be wrong on that exact number, but I believe we've got over 4,000 people now and it is growing every single day. If you guys want to support the channel financially, financially, we'll have a Patreon linked down below. Check that out. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting us there and just on our other platforms and everything else that's out there. Thank you guys so much. And if you want to follow my Twitch, I'll have it linked down below. I don't stream that much anymore. I'm just so busy. I've got two kids and I try to make YouTube videos when I'm not at work. So if you, if you can fault me for that, go ahead. It's the internet. I, I'll, I'll let you do it. But yeah, if you guys want to check that out, go ahead and check it out. Link down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.